Hello everyone, uh, this is Q Business Talks. We have so many interesting customers and so many interesting stories that we decided to share that with the community. So we are going to film every month another client talking about their products, about what they do, about themselves a little bit and about working with Q. And they're still with us after so many years. So uh, Alex, welcome, how are you? Hi, Philip. I'm awesome. Uh, things are going well. And for you? I'm also awesome. Great. Uh, it's, a pleasure. it's a pleasure to be here. Um, and, you know, after working uh, together for so many years, looking uh, forward to, you know, you know, just chatting a little bit and uh, wrapping things up of uh, how everything came together. So it's really cool to be here. By the way, you look very handsome in your jacket, blue jacket. I'll return, the, I'll return that compliment, of course, you know, <laughs> as always. Okay, so Alex, um, tell us, you know, what's Max Brain, how everything started? Yeah, so, um, you know, today Max Brain is one of the leading learning platforms for professionals. Um, and we started basically um, four years ago with the idea of basically packing all the content and all the tools for executive learners into a fancy iPad, you know, they were getting stashes of paper before. Um, so that's really the, that they could, you know, draw with the iPad um, and pen and keyboard and just have like a little bit of a mobile learning office for them. Um, so that's how it all started. And what was the connection with University of St. Gallen? Uh, because uh, University of St. Gallen was uh, our one of our first trips. I, I remember my partner Dalibor driving and flying there very often. Yes, um, I mean in the beginning, Max Brain wasn't a venture, but more a project. Um, so the executive MBA of uh, University of St. Gallen was was basically our client that said, you know, this is the vision that we have. This is what we want to make. Um, so then back in the days, uh, Max Brain then started the, 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 like the initial core team before the venture was founded, um, so you started to work on that solution. Um, and then later when we felt like, okay, it's time to take some risk, uh, later then the company was founded. Okay, so I mean, in short, what's your plan with uh, Max Brain platform? You know, what do you want to achieve? I mean, world domination is always the easiest answer, right? Um, so looking into uh, uh, the Silicon Valley uh, players, you know, I mean, I think that's kind of every every startup's dream. Um, but but for for now, you know, we are uh, starting to have clients in in Switzerland, Germany, and Austria, so the uh, Dach uh, region. <laughs> This is a big platform that we are building together. Sometimes we had 10 engineers, sometimes eight engineers, but it was always, you know, a really nice team. We've never, you've never been to Croatia. You've never met your team in person and still, you know, things work perfectly well and everybody's happy. Not only that you are happy as a customer and your guys and, and girls at work, but also this team here in Croatia is very happy with you. And this, I think, is a proof that uh, today you can really work with somebody very closely at the same time, not physically being uh, together. Yeah. And this yeah, is you know, totally. maybe one big takeaway that I learned uh, from, from working with you guys, that things can go really, really well without parties being physically together. Okay, Frank is coming to Croatia from time to time, but you are, as a CEO, you've never been here and still things are working, I would say, almost perfectly fine. We've had the chance to meet up in Zurich also, um, a few times already, and and uh, I'm 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 convinced that you need a human connection, you know, between between some key people. Now, if they are frequent or or uh, very rare, you know, sometimes you just have to fly with what you can or use 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 the, the resources that are available. Um, so I think over the, over the years, you know, that that's also something that, that has worked phenomenally. Like you didn't really plan a trip or you had a, a short notice client meeting in Zurich and you said, hey, can you, can we meet just for a beer? And we would just really meet for 15 minutes by main station before you took, you took your, uh, your, your flight home. Um, and I think if let's assume you were in, I don't know, Russia or India or, or um, you know, just further away in a different time zone, yes, it would be more difficult. And I also think that culturally, um, our two companies and cultures are really close together. And I think that's also been um, 
part of the secret DNA that it that it that it matches so well. How did WeQ uh, help you scale up your business, uh, switching to SaaS model? You know, first it was to build a prototype, and then the MVP, and then the full Agile team, and now the entire knowledge, the core is here in, in, in this building. There is a big war for talent. So in, in Switzerland, you know, when we when we started working with you guys and we we got some, you know, signed, we got some contracts signed, we basically had to find uh, like iOS and Android developers overnight. Um, and we, we would have never been able uh, to source um, these profiles here in the market locally with, with such short uh, notice. Um, and I think the, the second one is then, I mean, I think you guys, you know, have always been, you know, very flexible, you know, overnight we could send a request to the next morning we had an answer. Um, so that's, that's made it, made it very easy for us, you know, to hire UX designers, to hire uh, testers, uh, to hire front and back end developers. And then that's really how we grew from prototype to building a software for a few clients to then with our, uh, with our CEO, Frank, on board to really crafting a SaaS platform. What would you say that you like most about Q? Is it like being very fast, being your true partner? Is it something else? I, I mean, speed is not everything, right? Um, I think it's speed uh, combination of, of, speed with a combination of loyalty and flexibility. Um, and, and really, really going through this as partners, I think that's that's been for us the most valuable thing. You know, when we had, you know, uh, you know, tough, tough days and we were a little bit short in cash, you know, you guys were, you know, said, yeah, sure, we can wait, you know, two, three weeks with the next payment. You don't payment. have to pay, we said, right? Actually, you actually, yeah, you work for free. So that was, that, <laughs> that was amazing. Um, and, and I think, you know, also when, when I remember when, when as a, as a, as a CEO of a venture, you sometimes you have these lonely days where, um, you're downing yourself, and I remember, you know, meeting you in in a in a bar in Zurich, and you were asking how things are going, and you said, "Yeah, you're you're doing an awesome job. Like I believe in you." Um, so I, I do remember that also had a had a huge impact, and that that's typically what a partner does, right? It doesn't just provide you a service and sends the invoice at the end of the month, but is connected to you and and to your to your um, to your own vision and ambition, and and tries to make that happen. I like to think of you guys as a cheetah um, because I think you are all very um, hungry in a positive way, uh, hungry, ambitious, uh, and also also fast. And and you you guys come across as super streamlined to me. Um, you know when when you know finance people they work in finance and they are always on time. They do their things. People that source. Uh, and new team members, they, they do that job um, very well. So uh, I'm, I'm, even though you guys have grown tremendously over the years, you know, you've, you, it still feels like working with a very small company. So with you and Dalibor, we're, we're so close and, and, it, and it, it's, always, um, it's always been a, a very consistent evolution together. And we, we never really changed, see, saw the, uh, the service level or, or, or our relationship change despite I think both parties actually grew quite a bit over the years. And let's talk just a little bit about you. Uh, so uh, how did you get involved with Mark's brain? Yes, yeah, that's actually a long story. So I had a job um, signed already for a company that sells kitchen appliances as a marketing director um, and then kind of in that career transition last minute you know i saw the job ad as co-founder and ceo for max brain and i said I, I have to take this interview um so i i i took the interview i took the process um you know the other founders liked me and i like them so they ended up hiring me um i i i basically quit the other job um without having ever without having started it um, but, but, uh, you that, still that regret was... it. Your, your partners regret it now. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, 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 I have to say, you know, that the, 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 the company that I walked away from, you know, that CEO, um, reacted incredibly well See that. See, he said, Hey, if that, if that doesn't rock your boat, uh, you know, then you, you should find what makes you happy. Um, and then again, with Max Brain, you know, we've, we've, we've really been a very close and strong team with the founders and, 
and uh, yeah, I, I, I assume or hope they're still happy with uh, with uh, the choice they made they made uh, three and a half years ago. Well, from everything that I've seen working with you all these years, I think they are. Um, what's the biggest risk that you've ever taken? So this is now CEO to CEO question. I mean, you know, startups go through good times and through tough times. And um, I remember um, uh, around a little over a year ago, you know, you, you have those phases where you are basically cash out and you look for new funding. Um, and, and back then we had amazing client meetings, but just no contracts yet. And we we're waiting for these signatures. And, and at some point, you know, the board lost a little bit uh, belief. And then I said, I mean, I, if you if you lose the belief in your in your venture, I, you know, I can't blame you for it. Right. The numbers are not there. Um, so that's something we have to put up with. Um, but then again, I, I just turned to myself and said, you know, we are at least not losing any further substance the next two, three months. So I said, I mean, let's, let's just, you know, let's just go all in one more time and be patient and, and cut salaries. And we, I remember we cut uh, even more uh, developer costs with, with, with Q also back, uh, back then. Um, and then, you know, three months later, we had the, 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 the biggest clients that we have that we serve today uh, signed and and then everything uh, you know was back to full speed so i mean this is this is the typical example of of what happens when you're taking risk i still remember that quote from churchill that uh, definition of success is going from one failure to the other without losing the faith yes yes exactly i mean that that i mean that that typically summarizes what what being an adventure is all about Tell us a little bit more about your uh, private uh, um, hobbies and uh, passions. For me, typically one of these things is being in the mountains and ski touring, um, just, you know, with a smaller group or by myself, um, you know, out, out in the fresh air and, and phones off. And, and that's, that's where I collect a lot of, a lot of energy and, and, and find, find motivation. So I think it's, it's really through these struggles when, when there is pain, you will start to become creative and find solutions. Um, so I think that's also something I'm sure that you have um, experienced as a CEO of Q. I think you guys have proven over the years um, that you're you're ambitious and and are willing to go the extra mile, um, and and are are really dedicated to make that remote or um, semi-remote um, setup to make it work. Mm -hmm.